or it's like a data transaction so it is differ locally as well as globally so this is how we are using the word called name but when you are going for addressing it is not so Sub, i mean addresses it is nothing but we are just supplying the information needed just for routing in network either you are using a single hub network or multi hub network because of doing the routing we need of address so information is needed to finding the things that is the purpose of addresses we are using in the network field so the addresses are used to find the information so for that purpose generally we are having ip address so it's like a street address for finding the person he is belonging to which area so that is how the address is working so in network field we used to call it is nothing but an ip address ip which is nothing but internet protocol address and for mac address that is for networking the network layer without knowing the mac address you can't able to interconnect suppose if you want to use an college uh, i mean net uh, wifi then they will ask uh, you have to get the mac address for a particular laptop you should get the uh, i mean uh, get the correspondent that is get the information of your mac address for a particular then only you can able to uh, use the wifi network in the college so that is the purpose of these address as well as names and these two are very very important uh, for the concept of computer network so this names it is like uh, the main thing is services to mapping between the names and address the main thing we used to call is dns what is dns we used to call dns which is nothing but domain specific name so dns it is like for user friendly names to the ip address that is domain name we should know so you are belonging to nec domain you are belonging to other part so suppose for i like i want to share some information to the person corresponds to me then what i can do if i am sharing the link for a particular person if he is not belonging to nec he has to ask the permission uh, to activate the particular uh, content then he has to ask the permission via email to my email address so we have whatever the service you want to make you have to map through with your dns that is your domain specific so whenever the ip address you are going there are two main functions the first one is like an host or the network interface identification and location addressing so while you are talking about the fundamentals of naming an address which is nothing but there are some fundamental it is related to the node identifier they used to call it as an uid uid which is nothing but unique node identifier the next one is call it as a mac address the network address the network identifier then resource identifier so these are the five important parameter for use of address and names in sensor networks the first one is unique node identifier the next one is called a mac address third one is called as a network address the network identifier then resource identifier so the first one is like unique node identifier so what is unique node identifier unique node identifier which is nothing but it is a combination of the vendor who is the provider the vendor name it's a combination of vendor name product name serial number then assigned at manufacturing time this is what give you the information of unique node identifier so you using this uid details we can have the we can have the function of your particular protocol stack protocol stack is what your layer concept so we can able to identify so identifying the address and the names of your sensor network you should know this details that is the first one is your unique unique node identifier detail then once knowing this then they will get into mac address so what is mac address so mac address which is nothing but it is used to distinguish between one hub neighbor of a node that is mac address is giving the information of that is there are uh, several number of uh, uh, multi hub we are using 
so each one is consisting of so many neighbors so we should have an address of each neighborhood without getting a distinguished address you can't able to communicate and moreover this is based on contention based protocol contention protocol in the sense it is nothing but it allow many users to use the same radio channel so one channel can be used for many persons but there should not be any disturbance it's like in collision so that is the reason actually we have uh, get into the field uh, that is csma collision deduction so that is also used inside your mac address so that is how it is working the another one is called as an unicast unicast which is nothing but one to one transmission so one to one transmission means which is like sender to receiver and each will be identified through their own network address then while you are using this mac address there will be an advantages we can able to avoid overhearing so overhearing means at a time multiple path will be coming so there will be an collider will be kept happening so this overhearing avoidance can be avoided through using this mac address the main purpose of going this overhearing avoidance which is for conserving the energy then third one is we are talking about that is what overhearing overhearing means it's a broadcast medium notes listen for a message sent to another node that is one source to another so while you are looking at this mac address the very important thing is transceiver status also because transceiver status already we have discussed in the previous class that is how your uh, four modes are operating transmit receive idle as well as sleep so based on that we can able to finding out which is in sleeping and which is in transmitting and which is in the sleeping mode so through these four modes you can able to identify the states because your mac address is again talking about the medium so if transceiver is not working good in condition then there will be a problem right so the third one is talking about network address so network address means what network address which is used to find and denote a node over a multiple hubs we can able to identify the address because for routing concept the network address is very very important the next one is about network identifier so network identifier which is nothing but it is like uh, it is given where uh, geographically overlapping wireless network of the same type and working in the same frequency so same band you have to identify the network